my last job was a bit dangerous and disturbing, but I got a rather hefty payment for just the first shift, and then a promotion to work as security on a night train. My last job was working as a night guard for my local subway station. If you want to know more about my previous job, listen to my last series. Although it's not necessary to listen to the last series, it will definitely help you understand my situation better. This morning, I got a text from my employer. I only know them as the subway management team, asking me to come to my local station for my first shift on the train. I made my way to the subway station on time at 9pm. The train I would be riding on for the next eight hours. It was a very modern train, with automatic doors and was six compartments long. My security compartment would be the second one from the front, as I was told in my text. As I got on the train, I noticed that each compartment, except for the special compartments, had a main lobby type area with four seats on either side, facing the window, and a travel door that linked it to the next compartment on the left side from the entrance door. On the right were either a few steps leading up to the upper seating area that was similar to the interior of the bus, and a few steps leading down to an exactly identical seating area. If you need help visualizing the train compartments, search up Sydney trains and you'll get what I mean. The security compartment was very different to the main ones. It had a camera feed and a desk with drawers. It also had a chair I could sit on. The security compartment required a key to open. The driver compartment could be accessed from the security compartment via a door. As I was about to get on the train, a guy exited the last security compartment and handed me a security badge and the keys to the compartment. He patted me on the back and wished me good luck. I cringed as soon as he said good luck, as my mind filled up with the events of my last job. When I got into my security compartment, I found the usual employee manual, but also once again, a sheet of rules. It read, All passengers must be escorted off the train on Station 6. The train will stop for five minutes on Station 6. Check all four carriages and make sure every passenger has left the train. After the train has left Station 6, go back to the security compartment, which is at the front, and will have a door labelled Security Compartment. You must do this as soon as the doors of the train start closing. Run if you have to. If you hear people talking, Stay put inside your security compartment and check the camera feed. If you see people sitting in compartment 4, immediately disable the automatic doors that connect compartment 4 to 3. You must do this as soon as possible before they notice. If they even glance at the camera, they have noticed. If the people you see in the camera feed start approaching compartment 3, get the knife from the drawer and go stab all of them before they reach compartment 3. You are to make rounds of the full train every 15 minutes from the point you see the people in compartment 4 to the point the train comes back to the station you got on at and has done a full loop. If, during your rounds, you see anyone get on the train, hide. Don't hide in your security compartment. Hide somewhere they won't find you. They will give up at the next stop and leave the train. If during your rounds you hear hysterical laughing, turn off all the lights to that compartment, but don't disable the travel doors to the compartment. An extension to Rule 7. If you see the thing making the laughing sound, get out of that compartment and disable the doors to it. The creature may trick you by disappearing as soon as you see it, but make sure you disable the doors. You may find a young girl in a red dress in one of the compartments looking lost. Ignore her and do not look in her direction. She may plead for help or do anything to get your attention, but do not look her way or interact with her in any way. At stops 9 and 13, get off and on the train. 
At stop 13, you may see a man sitting in a security booth. Do not get off the train or he will shoot you. You may see someone else you didn't see before on the train. Get off and get shot by the security guard. Do not interfere. The train may break down at any point during the journey and all electrical power will go out. Keep calm and stay in your position. You may feel things move around you in the dark or even hear things. Ignore everything. The train will start up again and will eventually move on. Continue normally. Check the camera feed every 30 minutes after reaching stop 13. You may see various creatures or people sitting in the seats. You may see violence. Make sure you do not interfere in any way. At the same time, you may have to do a round of the train. Keep doing your round and still go through that compartment. The creatures can only be seen on the camera feed. If you notice that you are stopping at the same stop over and over again, go to compartment 4 and sit on every back seat. Wait until the stops continue and then you can leave the seat. On one of your rounds, you may find the train seats bloody. Use the cleaning cloth in the drawer to clean the seats. The lights on the train may go out at any time during your rounds. Use the flashlight we have provided and continue your round. If you see anything in the dark, run back to your security compartment and disable the doors to that compartment. You can enable the doors once the light comes back on. If the train gets too quiet and you literally don't hear anything, run to your security compartment and put loud music on your phone to fill up the silence. Continue your shift and rounds once you hear the steady sound of the train engine. If the train stops for longer than five minutes at any stop, check on the driver. If he is not there, manually close the doors of the train and keep the train going until it loops back to your stop and get off there. You will also have to continue your security duties. If you walk into compartment 5 by accident, immediately get out before the automatic doors close behind you. If the doors close behind you and you are stuck in compartment 5, jump off the train. The reason this rule is so important is because there is no compartment 5. If you break any of the above underlined rules, we are not responsible for your general health and safety. We will nonetheless come to collect you at your entry station. The train has just started moving again. My current station is station one. I'm going to read the rules and try to memorize them and also get myself familiar with the train before the rules are on me once again. Thank you for listening. If you like what you heard, check out another episode or series or consider subscribing. If you have a story you'd like narrated, check me out on Twitter, which is in the description below. Thank you to Reddit user Not Necessarily for providing this series. A link to his original story can also be found in the description below.